do you consider yourself a religious person or spiritual person and what are your thoughts about that well i'm uh, yes i consider myself a religious person i find there's no uh, no uh no disagreement between religion you know that i have uh, and uh, physics i mean some physicists i know they are very they say everything can be done without any interference of anything a higher authority let's say but i think you know i i have my beliefs and i find some of the physicists do too uh, actually einstein always thought there was some higher authority in the universe i mean he didn't know as much at the time what was known now but he certainly had a very very keen mind in that respect uh, and also i mean in a former an austrian logician you may have heard about kurt gödel who was a very famous one who also went to princeton in the before the war and he was a colleague there with he was he was the only one einstein could talk to and gödel would tell him you are wrong in this respect but it is interesting to me that he was certainly not a very religious person i don't think but he proved had an eight point proof of the existence of a superior being a logical one purely logical so it's uh, it's interesting i mean there are some people that uh, you know keep their faith and it doesn't interfere with my uh, research my physics i can always bring it together that's excellent uh, this was what the thinking of uh, pakistan's only science nobel laureate was this was the thinking of dr abdul salam yeah. yes he also used yes, to say was. that my theories they never interfere rather my spirituality it strengthens my uh, my work so that was yes. his thinking as well yes. and in pakistan we seem to forget about that and pakistan is so much into religious extremism but there are voices of reason who are saying that there is no clash you don't need to clash these two things spirituality no. and science but you know uh, okay. there is uh, the debate is for some other time well okay. of course i know well about the the, the uh, uh, sadam that you mentioned who worked in trieste i think for a while and i read some of his papers were very famous of course i i like them but i didn't know that he was a religious person well you never you know reading the science you don't express this uh but uh this is my belief yes yeah and this is what science teaches it teaches tolerance two of his colleagues who shared nobel prize of physics with him they were both atheist and one of them yeah. is quite staunch anti religious person so yeah. despite having their differences they were best buddies yes yes i remember that i mean most physicists i think they can it can be all done without any superior being there's no need for it i have my own belief i left them their own what if they think so that's all right with me i can't change their mind but uh, i do believe in in the, that the two can coexist religion and physics